Hi, this is Catherine with Greater Ohio, and we're here in the video blog today to find out a little bit more about Gene Krebs and what it is that he does here at Greater Ohio. So Gene, do you want to tell us a little bit about what your job really is? Well, my job first and foremost is I'm the official coffee taster here at the office. <laughs> and so far, I think in all video blogs, you've never seen me without a cup of coffee in my hand. That is really true. Okay, it never leaves my hand. As you are laughing, you're going, yeah, it really is kind of sad. Um, several things. First of all, um, do a huge amount of reading. You know, I joke I read 3,000 pages a week. That is a joke, but it seems like that sometimes around here. Because much of what we do is we're trying to figure out the totality of how the restoring prosperity effort, our work in um, alternative energy, affects the totality of Ohio. When we talk about, for example, in our restoring prosperity effort, it's there's all these various disparate items. And the question always is, how do we link them all together? How does workforce inform transportation? Okay, mm -hmm. uh, two of those, I spent, um, uh, four years on the House Finance Committee. I was on the Higher Education Subcommittee of the Finance Committee. So I have a veneer of knowledge on higher education. We're just finishing up the Transportation Task Force. I've been a county commissioner, so we've overseen some of that. We then look at governance issues. Well, I've been a school board member. I've been a county commissioner. I've been a member of the Ohio House, okay? Mm -hmm. So as you look at governance issues, I'm able to look at that, continue the reading, understand how things interrelate. And then when you look at our issues in regard to neighborhood revitalization, uh, Greater Ohio was the, along with our partners at Heritage Ohio, were the two groups that initially promulgated and pushed for the state story tax credit for rehabilitation. Mm -hmm. Now a major plank of how we move forward here in Ohio. So as we, as we look at the issues that we're dealing with here, much of my role is to try to help provide that, you know, where the connecting threads, and of course, drinking the coffee. And how did you come to Greater Ohio? Back in 1997, uh, then Governor Voinovich appointed myself uh, to the Environment Preservation Task Force. And um, uh, out of that effort, uh, I, it was when I really started to realize about the importance of land use for the economic vitality of Ohio. Mm -hmm. um, it's also where I met one of my very, very, very best closest friends, current ODNR director, Sean Wilkin. Okay. And uh, we were in the house together, we were county commissioners, some counties on the opposite sides of the state, we always stayed in touch. And, um, uh, but both of us, in effect, got our beginning in this whole whole land use, quality of life issue. And you go back to that Environment Preservation Task Force report, and I'll end with this, the last sentence on that was, if you really want to save farmland, you make cities a more attractive place to live. And so I spent a quarter century as a full-time professional farmer, okay, I was not always dressed like this when I was working okay, <laughs> uh, on that. And um, so that's where the motivation for this has come from. And Gene, what is your role with the General Assembly or with legislative stuff in Greater Ohio? With uh, and the voice that you never, the voice that you hear is Ann Seller, who's often sitting here. Uh, uh, Ann's asking the question, "What do I do?" The General Assembly. I monitor the legislation. Um, I take a look at it. We um, we really do not lobby per se, as as commonly thought of, because of the fact we are a five hundred one c three, we're very limited. And so I do limited testimony and limited interaction, uh, but whatever it is, it's targeted and structured so we get bang for a buck. And perhaps in the next iteration, we'll talk a little bit about one of our recent successes with um, uh, restoring prosperity and one of our items we've already gotten through so far at this point in time. Okay, well thank you very much for tuning in.